Welcome mathematicians to today's video. In today's video, we'll be looking at networks and decision mathematics, looking at examining the topic of minimum spanning trees, and the skill we'll be applying is Prim's algorithm. So let's do a quick review on minimum spanning trees. First of all, you have in front of you a weighted graph. This weighted graph shows one, two, three, four, five, six vertices, eight edges, and there's numbers associated, hence it's called a weighted graph. Next, I have an example of this weighted graph as a tree. Trees are a special type of connected graph, which uses fewer edges as possible to connect a group of vertices. A tree can have no duplicate edges, loops, or cycles within. So there are many possible trees that could be made from this weighted graph, but this is one example. Next, I have a spanning tree. A spanning tree is a tree that connects all vertices in the original graph. All vertices shown are connected. And finally, a minimum spanning tree. A minimum spanning tree is one which has the lowest total weight when all the edges are added together. So it's spanning in that all the vertices are connected, and it's a minimum span in that the sum of all the numbers on the edges, that is the weight, add to the minimum possible value. Let's now consider Prim's algorithm. An algorithm is a set of rules that can be used to determine a particular outcome. So Prim's algorithm is a method that can be used to find the minimal spanning tree. The rules are as follows. Number one, select any vertex. Number two, select the edge with the lowest weight connected to the vertex. Number three, we now have two vertices that are connected. Look at all edges coming off either vertex and select the edge with the lowest weight that will connect another vertex to the tree. Ignore any edges that would create duplicate edges, cycles, or loops. And four, continue this process until all vertices are connected. Now note, if two edges have the same weight, it doesn't matter which is used. So let's look at three examples. Task number one. The following diagram shows the distances in meters along a series of cables connecting a main server to seven points, A to G, in a computer network. So here we have our weighted network. The question is, what's the minimum length of cable in meters required to ensure that each of the seven points is connected to the main server directly or via another point? So here's our rules for Prim's algorithm. So first of all, we need to select a vertex. In this case, I'll choose the main server as my starting vertex, as the question states that all points have to be connected to the main server. So coming off the main server, I have one edge with a weight of 36, another with a weight of 15, and yet another with a weight of 33. So I'll select the 15 as the edge with the lowest weight. I now have two vertices to consider, the main server and vertex D. So looking at the options, I have a weight of 36 coming off the main server and a weight of 33 coming off the main server and a weighted edge of 28 coming from vertex D. 28 is the minimal or lowest weight, so I'll select that. I now need to consider 36, 33, 35 and 30. Of course, 30 is the lowest number. And I continue this process looking for the lowest weighted edge of the vertices that are now connected. So I look at this and I see that 32 is now my lowest connection. Now, at this point, it would appear that 33 is my lowest connection. However, if I selected 33, I'd have a closed circuit and that breaks one of the rules of being a spanning tree. So the lowest number I have possible of all these vertices will be a 35. And you'll notice I've got two 35s. I have this 35 and this 35. Note, if two edges are equal, simply pick one. So I'm picking this 35. I'm now looking at all the vertices available, and I can now select the other 35. Of the vertices available now, the next lowest number is 28 up the top. So I'll pick that. And at this point, I've now connected all 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 vertices. So my job is done in terms of applying Prim's algorithm. And to calculate the weight, I simply have to add up the individual edge weights. So that gives me a total of 203 meters. So what's the minimum length of cable in meters required to ensure that each of the seven points is connected to the main server directly or via another point? The minimum length of cable is 203 meters. Task number two. The minimum spanning tree for the network below includes the edge with a weight labeled K. So here's our edge with a K weighting. The total weight of all edges for the minimum spanning tree is 33. What is the value of K? This question is a little bit different. So we have to use Prim's algorithm to determine the minimum spanning tree. And from that, we can calculate the edge weight of K. So we have our rules, one, two, three, four. Now we have to start with a particular vertex. 
I'm going to select a vertex either side of K because I know the edge K has to be part of our minimum spanning tree. So I'll select that. I now need to look at all the edges coming off these two vertices. I have a four, a three, and a five. I'll select the edge with the lowest weight, that being the three. I now look at the edges coming off these three vertices. Now I have a four, a six, a two, a six, and a five. The two is the lowest weighted edge, and so forth. So the next lowest weighted edge of those one, two, three, four vertices that are connected would be the four. I connect the four, the next lowest edge will be a two, and then the one. The next lowest weighted edge will be the five. So I connect that. I'm looking now for the next lowest edge of these vertices that are already connected, and that will be five. Almost there. All vertices except for the top right are now connected. What's the lowest weighted edge remaining? Well, of all the vertices, the lowest weighted edge remaining is six. So I connect that. We now have completed Prim's algorithm to find the minimum spanning tree. So the total weight is the sum of the edges, one plus two plus two plus three plus four plus five plus five plus six plus K the unknown, and it equals 33 as stated in the question. When I tally all those individual edges up, I end up with a final statement of 28 plus K equals 33, so the weighting of the unknown edge K must equal five. Our third and final example. The network below shows the distances in meters between campsites at a camping ground that has electricity. The vertices A to I represent the campsites. The minimum length of cable required to connect all the campsites is 53 meters. What's the minimum value of X? So here is our edge weighted with the value of X that we're trying to determine. So rule number one, select any vertex. Because I know the edge with the weighting X has to be part of the minimum spanning tree, I'll start there. Now let's consider all the edges coming from these vertices. I have a five, an eight, a six, a nine, a five, an eight, a 10. So I've got two fives. In the example of two edges being equal, simply pick one. So I'm gonna pick this particular five. The next edge, of course, I can pick is the second five that I had previously. Let's look at the minimum weighted edges coming off of these particular vertices. And it would appear that there's two edges weighted six. Here's one between E and I, and another between H and A. Again, in such a situation, if two edges are equal, pick one. So I'm gonna pick that particular six between E and I. Next, I pick the six weighted edge between H and A. Now I'm looking at the weighted edges coming off these vertices, and I have to select from seven, an eight, a 10, 11, an eight. It appears that seven is my choice. Note, I can't use this seven between I and F because doing so would complete a cycle, which is a condition of trees. So I'll choose the other seven between A and B. I continue on this process. The next lowest edge that exists on the connected vertices will be eight and eight. Again, I can't connect this eight because I'll create a cycle within my tree. So I select the alternative eight. And finally, my last leg to connect to the unconnected vertex C will be the seven at the top. I tally up all the weighted edges as such. So the tally is five plus five plus six plus six plus seven plus seven plus eight plus X, the unknown equals 53 as stated in the question. When I add those numbers all together, I end up with 44 plus X equals 33, which means the unknown value for X must be nine meters. What is the minimum value of X? The answer is nine meters. You've been watching a Juddy Productions video. If you've enjoyed and indeed learned something from this video, then please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.